In the first part of this tutorial, we, co we covered setting your home page as a static front page for your site, setting the slider, setting the tagline, and setting the featured posts. In the second part of the demo, we're going to cover the, the remainder of the settings. So the next part are widgets. We have a special widget area that gets displayed just on the home page. And to add widgets to it, we just add them to the home template lower area widget area, which you can find in appearance widgets. So right now we don't have anything in there. So to recreate what's on the demo site, first we'll take an agility recent, recent posts widget. We can configure this however we want. Now for the front page, this should we should set this to eight columns because the home template lower area widget area will automatically put two widgets per row. So each widget will take up 50% of the screen. And since the grid is 16 columns wide, we want it to be eight columns and that'll fit appropriately. If we were placing this below a post, for example, on a post page, that section of the page is 11 columns, so we choose 11 instead. And we're going to choose to show two posts, but yeah, so it'll show the two most recent posts. So we'll save that. And then we can add a second widget. And I'm just going to add the sample content from the demo page. So you can put whatever content you want in a in a text widget. Save that. Now if we refresh the home page, you can see we now have our from the blog content as well as our uh, so we're showing the latest two posts here as well as this text widget content. The final part is to include Twitter. So if we don't want to display the latest tweet, we can just disable this. And I'll show you what that looks like. So in that case, the bottom area just completely disappears. But if we want to have it on, what we need to do is go to the social media tab and fill in our Twitter name. And once we save these options, you'll see that it shows our latest tweet down here. You'll also be able to change this from the Twitter sphere to whatever you like by adjusting this here. So we can also choose from the different home page templates. So if we go back and edit the home page you'll see, oh, the other thing that we can do is we can add in content for our home page if we'd like. And that content gets displayed below the featured posts and above the widget area. So you can put whatever you want there, just like a normal page. But then we can also switch the template so we could use the home page with the blog. As you can see now we get our blog posts below. We can use home page, the alternate home page which has a smaller slider and puts our tagline to the right. Or we can use the no slider and in that case we can set a featured image and it'll appear at the top. Now all the settings you set here on the home page tab apply to any of these templates. Not all of them are necessarily relevant, but they all apply to any of the templates that you choose. For a more complicated home page layout, we can use Bricklayer, and we'll cover that in another tutorial.